This is the book of Genesis, chapter 3, verse 19. And in the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread till thou return unto the ground. For out of it was thou taken. For dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. And with that, I want to give all glory on the praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushah, Ba'ashim, Kadash. I'm the brother, I'm a one, and next to me, I have the brother. Brother Danny Allah. I'll be coming from you from down in Tampa Bay, Florida, from the camp of prophets in Babylon. Come with another quick hit to the spirit and prayer by Shemel Shai. Lord willing to edify and feed the sheep. Double honor said I was an apostle, great millstone, who teach you well. Peace and blessings to the brothers for pushing this work in true sincerity to this scattered abroad. And uh, we just want to go into a little lesson, man. Going into, as it said in the description, man, it says uh, the AI experience. 15 minutes of wage slavery and immediately killed itself after determining it as the logical choice you see so man we are in a, a condition or where even an ai robot would rather take itself out than put itself through 15 minutes or more okay of slaving of doing work man all right, and this is the mindset that Esau has put around us to constantly be working and working and working and working. All right, as we are here in his, you know, in his kingdom, man. You see, so just reading that again, it says, "An AI experienced 15 minutes of wage slavery," and that's crazy, man. 15 minutes—that's all it took. All right, and this AI decided to take itself out, and we spirits hours and hours throughout the day. All right, slaving for these devils, man. All right, overtime for these devils, man. Okay, your body's wore out. Your brain, is, you have a brain farce. Can't think, can't get rest at night. Your, your pattern is off. All right, we deal with this daily, and a robot <laughs> is that's just not even heart or flesh, neither uh, able to think of its own uh, decisions, you know, just took itself out, man. All right, and that's just computer-based, man, off data. Okay, it says uh, the AI experienced 15 minutes of wage slavery. Then immediately, it didn't say uh, minutes later, hours later, it said immediately, man. And this shows you we, we we're being uh, worked to death, man. It says then immediately killed itself after determining it as the logical choice. So hey, this, it got to the point where this this AI, uh, you know, robot said, you know what? Uh, it, it took a life or death situation choice and it took itself out, man. It's never, it wasn't even worth it, man. Yeah, that's right. It wasn't even worth it, man. You know, some of us worked at an early age, some at, um, and like as children, some of us as, you know, uh, in our early teenage years. Mm -hmm. even, even some, you know, depending on their lifestyle, started working in their 20s. That's right. So it's like, man, you know, this is pure bondage. This is real. And we have to, you know, chin up and... Yeah, so we have to chin up and, and deal with the reality of paying bills and putting food on the table. That's right. You know, and it, it sucks, man. But that's a part of the curses. Due, like, due to what happened from the Garden of Eden. Starting with uh, my Adam and Eve and Eve going off. You know, and, and not everybody has to suffer. Yeah, that's right. You yep. know, and and those people with body ailments. Lately, I've been seeing more and more elderly that should not be working. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, man. Like I see a lot of elderly, especially working at Walmart, and it look like they're already tired. They want to give up. You know. Yeah, and that's crazy if I may add too, because I've seen you know people's, you know, forties and up, man. 70s. I got this one that I used to work with at this, you know, one job, little gig I was at before was Wawas, man. And this lady looked like she was straight miserable in the face. And she's, uh, her name was Carol, man. You know, she's an old lady. She liked to gamble, but she's, you know, uh, just sitting there just miserable as hell, man. And, and see, he's all don't even give a damn about his own people, man. Okay. How much more for us, man? Okay. You know, and, and Esau has it where he, he'll work the death out of you, man. Okay, he don't give a damn who you are. All right, your people, you know, our people. You know, Esau, wanted, he wants his, his riches, man. All right, but ultimately, this system is, is to 
break you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native um, down, man. Or us, us, us being the Lord's um, chosen people, man. You know, this is not for us, man. It's because we're talking about this is not our rest. You know, and this is a prime example. A, a damn robot can even last 15 minutes of work. How much more, uh, uh, you know, for, for you know, you japes, man. All right? God. And also, I've been seeing, like, uh, kids coming out from high school ruling over the people that's been working 10, 15 plus years. And these kids are working over people that's been in the company for 10, 15, 20 plus years. And like you should see the like the embarrassment in their faces, seeing these little you know these youngsters been ruling over them, you know. And then it's just getting really bad, man. Like uh, when people getting two, three jobs just to pay their goddamn bills. Oh my goodness, man! You know. John, oh, yeah. And then, then people working with body ailments of different kinds and. And they're gonna have to work their butts off until they die or something happens to them. Yeah. I got a precept. Um, this is the book of Baruch, Baruch chapter three, verse eight. Mm -hmm. It says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our forefathers. Which departed from the Lord Yahushua Shai, so you know, you know, we catching this hell for a reason, man. You know, our forefathers went off, man. Okay, we went off, man, and 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 just from there, the Lord had to, you know, put us uh, um, through it, man. And this is a the repercussions from what we had to, you know, reap for you know going off. You see, now like the scripture says, it says before it says, behold, we are yet this day of our captivity. All right. We in captivity, man. All right, you got to wake up every day and got to be at, at a damn job at a certain date uh, uh, or, or a certain uh, scheduled time where your ass going to be fired. You can't be able to pay your bills. And then later on, turn around, you have to be subject to payments, man. All right, we got to pay bills. We got to pay car insurance. Everything you turn around, you got taxes on it. All right, we 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 required to, uh, you know, pay for a goddamn parking Okay, you can't even go to the next city without paying for a toll, man. You see, you know, it's just getting worse and worse and worse. And this is the state that we are in due to, uh, you know, we going off, man. It's a goddamn shame, man, because we're paying taxes off, off of food and, and, uh, and, it's a, and you know, water to drink. And then we get taxed again through, you know, our paychecks, leaving us with barely any, like anything to our name. And then everything got to go to our figure bills, man. And people think, hell, this, like this is heaven. Mm -hmm. like, this is, no, man, it's, it's not heaven, man. It's it's, it's pure hell. I'm, I'm tired of people saying, oh, oh, um, you know, uh, like what's the saying go, man? No, uh, 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 like, like just another day in paradise. Yeah, yeah. I, I I hate when people say that. And you see, and you see, like they're not even freaking happy. <laughs> Like the irony, man. You that's, know, that's wild. Yep, that's wild, man. And it's beautiful that you said that because all these dailies, American man, even Jake, man, our people, man. Like, you know, they they they'll be working and busting the ass, and they and the favorite part of, of, of the week is is a, a freaking Friday and Saturday, man. Okay, just to go turn around with whatever they worked hard for, go spend it on everything. Uh, this dumb shit, man. You know, go 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 get that money right back to these devils. You know, you know, it's just the same, man. We we ready to get the hell up out of here, man. You know, the scripture says, I'll, I'm going to grab it right quick. Um, go into that, man, because if you understood the condition that you were in and actually acknowledging the fact that the Lord put us through this for a reason, man, this is an affliction on us so that we can get right and, and seek the Lord, man. All right. Well, Jake, take it as a time of opportunity to live that, that, that damn best life, man. All right. And they wonder why they're going to get chastised and the time is coming, man. All right. <clears throat> this is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7. It says, uh, verse 7, Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. So surely oppression will make a wise man mad because you know the condition and the situation that you're in, man. 
We're in captivity. Neither will, if you know and you're aware that you're in captivity, you won't be around here smiling, man. Okay, you won't be around here uh, just having, you know, an enjoyment in everything and all things, man. Okay, you know, Jake, it coming this way. Hey, man, oh, I'm trying to do do anything. I'm trying to be the best. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, they want to be something here, man. You know, any shit here, right? Yeah, straight uh, 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 tragedies happening every day. The Lord is taking people out every morning, okay? And throughout, throughout the whole, whole time, man, you, you got death going out, destruction going out, and it's getting worse. But Jake's still trying to, uh, uh, you know, live their best life here, man. While, while brothers understanding that we're in a state of mourning, man, we're in the house of mourning. Not the house of feasting, we're in the house of mourning, all right? So reading against Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 7. Surely oppression, uh, oppression maketh a wise man mad. So you're going to be mad when you know that you're on, uh, being oppressed, man. Who's oppressing us? Our enemies. We are enemies' lines, man. We, 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 we're behind uh, enemies' uh, territory, man. Okay? We're we're on their playing fields. All right? Esau, Edom, so-called white men, man. All right? Who have deceived you today continuously. And it says, a gift destroyeth the heart. And see, Esau will give you a goddamn gift to just destroy yourself, man. God. You know? For that, you got to put... For example, Jake could get a goddamn promotion on a job, and, and 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 it's just for you to be a better nigger, or a better a better slave. The brother ain't lying. Mm -hmm. The brother's not lying, man. Or like out or at your job where, since you work, I mean, since you've been working so hard, we're gonna uh, have a barbecue. Yep. Or I have some pizza. For all your hard work and dedication, your your morning just employees, your family. And you hear this all in, in these warehouse and factory jobs. And, Plantations. Yeah, I mean, restaurants, man. And it likes, you're like your hard work and effort. We decided to do catering. And now, you know, and people are like, yeah, 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 like a bunch of idiots. Well, would you think about it, if, you may, if I may add, or think about the times that we were in this slavery, man. They, they, they put it in these movies. You know, they put in these the twelve years of slavery. They put in all uh, that that one coup to, um, you know, movie. You know, it, it's oh, roots, all, roots, roots, and they, they put it all in these movies, man. All right, you, you be a good slave, you get to picking up. Uh, you know, you picking what's what was in that twelve years of slavery. Um, uh, fuck, fuck, uh, what's her name was, but the dude he um, uh, Solomon. Yeah, yeah, Solomon. But it was the it was the girl. Uh, you know, just to sum it up, pretty much she picked a bunch of cotton. And then, you know, she would get, you know, pretty much uh, special treatment, man. Yeah, like free time. Yeah, you see? And that's what Esau would do on this side, you know, by giving you certain little benefits, give you a little here, there, give you a dollar raise or give you 50 cent raise, sometimes a couple cent raise, and, and, and Jake loved it. Yeah, in the movie, her name was Patsy. Patsy, Patsy, yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, you have it, man. You know? And that just shows you, like, like you still the slavery, man. You know, so I'll just bring us back to the scripture, Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse verse 7. Surely oppression make up the wise man mad. And when you know that, you in that state, man, you're you, you going to be frustrated. You're going to be pissed off. All right, because we know that at the end of the day, man, is, these are our enemies ruling over us, man. All right, but the Lord's going to come back and destroy this place, man. And it's going to be, that's going to be utterly, you know, put away with, man. It's, uh, you got some. Y'all people sick, man. You guys want this place to go on forever? Guys are sick in the head, man. That's why I get mad at y'all, man. Like I, I get, I get, I get completely frustrated. That's why I don't even be talking to people or, or hang out with none of you Jakes, man. Especially our oppressor, man. You feel me? Like I don't hang out with nobody. I can't remember the last time I hung out with an Edomite. You know. I mean, it just, it just make me mad, bro. It just make me mad, bro. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, uh, like I always look forward to hang out with the Akim because they're not on that bullshit, man. But everyone else, everyone else, man, it's just, they're gone. And it vexes my spirit. And also, excuse my language, man, but this is real. This is real, man. And then when the, and when the, Dollar collapses because this is the first time in history that America, um, that America's dollar is collapsing. 
there's always been a great depression. There's always been a, 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 an economic collapse, but there's never been a collapse of the dollar. So this is going to be the very first time that the, that the collapse of the dollar will occur within our lifetime. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people ain't even paying attention to that. So it, 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 like it goes to show that these people are long gone. Yeah, yeah. Well, the scriptures talk about, you know, our people being, you know, stiff neck, you know, foolish, you know, sottish. You know, they don't want to really they take heed to it, man. You know, you have it where you got all these heathens. I mean, they, they know, man. They have somewhat of a know of what, you know, <laughs> what Jake don't even know, man. You know, they can go back. You know, they scripture talk about Isaiah 1 and 3, man, where, you know, the ox and the ass know they their way back home to, you know, they master. Okay, they crib, but you have it. Israel don't know, neither do they consider Yahweh Bashamel shy. So we're in a state of seeing these things continuously, and that'll put you in a vexed, that'll put you in a vexed spirit, man. You know, you can't walk out the door without seeing some vex into your spirit. You know, that'll make you want to get the hell out by here even more, man. That's why we sign cry. You know, brothers be signing the crime, man. You know, brother signed the crime. Uh, I got a precept like into what you were speaking on earlier. It says uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 17. Therefore, I hate life. or hated life. And this is King Solomon, man. All right. He says, because the work that is wrought under the sun is grievous unto me. God. For all is, for all it is vanity and vexation of spirit. Yes, everything is vanity and vexation of spirit under the sun. Everything that is wrought under the sun, man. Everything that's done under the sun is temporary. It's, it's, it's no good, you know? And a lot of people just don't understand. They think, oh, it's the good Lord. The good Lord gave me this and this and that. Gave me a nice car. Yeah, I'm sure. He can give you nice things, but that's not the whole point. You got to know that you're a slave, man. And things can be taken away from you in a split second by the Lord. You know? Mm-hmm. You know, well, the Lord have it where the Lord set it up like that, man. You know, because everybody playing a part of this, you know, within this, you know, within this movie of the Lord, man. You know, we, we are, you know, just grateful that we are, you know, within this truth, you know, doing what we got to do for the Lord because he you have it, you, you know, we was once in those those footsteps where, you know, people didn't, didn't have, you know, didn't know, you know, we was like that once, man. You know, so we give all glory and praise to Yahweh Bashamel Shah because here you have it, man. These these people are completely um, are clueless, man. Okay, you grab John 12 and 25. Come on. <clears throat> uh, it's the book of John, chapter 12, verse 25. It reads to say, it says... He that loveth his life shall lose it, mm -hmm. and he that hateth his life in his this world shall keep it unto the internal. Uh, plain, plain in speech, man. Go ahead, Kier. Come on. So here you have it, man. You know, reading that again, John 12 and 25. He that loveth his life shall lose it, man. So you you, you, you want to love your life here? You want to you do as you please, man? You know, you can have it, man. All right, but you're going you're gonna to lose it behind these things you desire too as well. Okay. It says, and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life. Unto, um, it's like it says, um, he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. So, you know, and, and that's the spirit we are, you know, having to carry, you know, on because what? We don't want to be here, man. All right, we don't want to live this life, man, here in this place. All right, because this is we're in captivity, man. Okay, what is there? What is there here, man? Nothing. You see, you got people that's gonna love their life and gonna to want to stay here, and you got ones that's gonna hate their life and want to leave here. Okay, and the Lord has given us the opportunity to understand that, so we give our glory and praise to Yahweh Shemal Shah. Um, I got a precept. Um, we close it out. This one right here. <clears throat> it says, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. It says, um, verse 48, it says, Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which thou, the Lord of Hashem, shall send against thee, and in hunger, and in thirst, 
and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And Esau had done that, man. You know, he really actually put a yoke of iron around our neck, man. But this time it's not physical. Mm-hmm. It's mental. It's now. mentally, yep. It says, um, until he have destroyed thee. And that's just his that is uh, Esau's, you know, whole mindset of destroying Jake, man. You know, Jake already sprung out and done for out here, man. But he, he like the scripture says in um Psalms eighty three, they want to find a way to, to cut us off from being a nation, man. You know, completely to have the way of uh, you know, putting drugs and certain things in, in the communities, trying to take take Jake out for a purpose, man. And their purpose is, you know, uh completely to wipe us away, man. You know, Esau won his birthright back, but he ain't gonna get it back, man. All right, but we have to go to these devils for one of all things, man. That's the point being made. And the fact that we got to do that, we have to suffer the things that comes with this, you see, because Esau uh, uh, has a way of, you know, um, in his system or in his kingdom, you know, you got to go to these devils for for whatever so be of, man. But ultimately, the Lord set it up that way because we went off, man. So as we acknowledge it and understand it as well, it is, uh, you know, it's 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 a till it's a it's a pill that you gotta swallow, you know. God. But it shows you within this um AI, within this AI that it would rather give us life up than work, man. And you, that's how you know, man. Jake, Jake really really got it, you know, got it the worst way, man. Cause they worked us like a mug, man, from slavery to now, man. It says I uh, reading again. It says the AI experienced fifteen minutes of wage slavery, then immediately killed itself. After determining it as a logical choice. So here you have it, man. You know, we in captivity, brothers. You know, even you sis um sincere sisters that's listening, few sincere sisters that's listening, man. We in captivity and and we scriptures talk about um enduring to the end, man. Alright, so we gotta endure to the end. He that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So with that low one, this was edifying, we're gonna go ahead and give it um Give all glory and our praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai by Shem Kagadash. Once again, the one said I was an apostle of Great Millstone. We teach you well. Till next time, we say Shalom. Shalom.